Hi, my name is Sam and this is Maths by Samuel. Today we'll be looking at a GCC topic which will commonly feature in your final paper at the end of the year. It is on quadratic equations and we're going to look at two different ways in which you can solve a quadratic equation. The example we'll be looking at today is y equals x squared plus 6x plus 5. We can look at two different ways in which you can solve this quadratic equation in terms of x and y. So the two values for x where y is equal to zero. We're going to use completing the square method and we will also use creating the brackets method. So for completing the square, you have to introduce a bracket term and you also have to look at the middle coefficient for x, which is six. Now, half of six is three, and we're going to introduce that into the bracket, like so, which we will explain very shortly. The purpose of introducing the bracket is to isolate the x term and to make it easier for us to eliminate and identify what the value of x must be for the equation to equal zero. If we multiply the brackets out for x plus three all squared, we get x squared plus six x plus nine. Now, this is four more than the original equation. Now, to make it equal, we have to subtract four. Therefore, our solution here is y equals x plus three all squared minus four. Well, interestingly here, we have an x squared term. And we also know that when you take the square of any number, the value must be zero or greater. So the answer is greater than or equal to zero. By doing a little bit of rearranging here, we can find that four is equal to x plus three all squared. By using the number line, we can observe that the two solutions of this equation are minus five and minus one. So x equals minus five and minus one to satisfy the equation such that it gives the answer of y equals to zero. Now let's use a different method to solve this equation. We'll create a pair of brackets now for this purpose, let's look at the original quadratic equation in its classic form. That's y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. For this example, just assume that a is equal to one. If we look at the two brackets that we have here, we have x plus m and x plus n, where m and n are two numbers for the sake of this example. To create brackets and therefore make it easier for us to eliminate and find the solutions of x in terms of y, we have to find two numbers that satisfy m and n such that m times n is equal to 5 and m plus n is equal to 6. So this can be a process of trial and error. So basically what we have to do is find these two numbers. We're going to try 5 and 1. So m equals 5 and n equals 1. We'll input those values into the equation. So we have x plus 5 all times x plus 1. We'll double check by multiplying the brackets out to see that this is the same as our original equation. And there you go. x squared plus 6x plus 5. So it's the same. So this has worked. If we put the value of y equals zero in the equation, therefore, what must the value of x be? Well, we know zero times any number is equal to zero. So then we have to have x so that each bracket gives zero. And by doing this, we can find that our two solutions, once again, are of course, x equals minus five and x equals minus one. Now what we'd like to do is show you what this function of x squared plus six x plus five looks like plotted on a graph. We get your classic parabola, which is very typical of a function with an x squared term. It's a symmetrical curve, and we've even shown you the points of intersection here on the y and the x-axis. The lowest point you'll see here, which has the coordinates minus three, minus four, you can find by using a technique in calculus called differentiation, which we might look at a bit later on. We find the gradient of the graph at the lowest point, which is zero as for a parabola here, and that is the low point. So those are two possible solutions for solving a quadratic equation. I hope you enjoyed the video. If there are any other GCT topics which you'd like a little bit of help on, then let me know. Thanks for watching.